Hello YouTube, today we are going to discuss remote control lighting using IR module. So have you ever think of a scenario that if you want to control your home appliances using remote control? Yes, you can do it. It's quite simple. So let's see what are the components that we need. First of all, you need a microcontroller board that is Arduino Uno R3. You need an IR remote module. It is a ready-made module. You can buy it from eBay or some sites. It's cost is around 150 you can buy four relay channel module or you can build your own you need a 9 volt DC power adapter and some wires that's it so how actually it works see an IR module let me have a pointer first so an IR module consists of three pins that is signal ground and 5 volt pin so what you're going to do is that you're going to connect the signal pin to any of the digital pin of an Arduino. In my scenario, I'm connecting it to the pin number 6. The next pin that is a 5 volt will go to the 5 volt of a Arduino. You'll set a ground to the ground pin of a Arduino. Now, if you are having a switch, think of a scenario you are having an AC switch. So it has two pins, yes or no? So what you are going to do is, in my scenario I am using three switches. So let this be three some switches. One end of your AC power would be connected in this way. One wire will be here, one wire will be here of a switch. And this will be the one end of an AC power supply. Next. In case of relay, we are having a three sub channels. You, you might be having you might have noticed that there are two ends that is no and nc no stands for the connection will the, if you're connecting these two ends the connection will always be an off state but if you're connecting these two ends it will be always in an on state and the on off state of these two can be on on signaling high from a arduino it means that if you are providing a high signal from an arduino then only these two will be on and similarly vice versa opposite of this will, will be for this two so in our scenario our switch will be always off state only when the digital signal is high we will place this two as high so you might be thinking from where we have to provide a digital signal so digital signals can be provided from these two four pins as you can see ch1 to ch4 these four digital pins i'll be connecting it to the digital pin of arduino from two to five so total five pins four pins will be used two three four and five now one end of your ac power supply will be connected in this way from here to here first pin of this to this first pin of this to this and first pin of this to this so all the first pin of our relay module will be connected and from here will be the second end of an ac power supply Okay, now this end 1, 2, 3 and 4 remains an idle connection. So what you are going to do is, in my scenario I am using only 3 switches. So what I can do is that for switch 1 I will connect this one to this. This one I can connect to the second end. And this one will be connected to my third end. So that's the connection. If you want a 4 switch, you can have a 4 switch you will have another two ends one will be connected to this end and from here to you will have this so two ends of our AC supply one is here and one is here don't mess up with an AC power supply because it will be injurious to your health also ok now relay comes in two varieties you can have a 9 volt switch also and 12 volt so if depending upon the specification of your relay module you can provide 12 volt or a 9 volt whatever your specification is it is preferable to have a 9 volt so using only a single power adapter you can power this relay module and arduino 2 ok now we will see the, some coding section how it works and the real practical modules that i have implemented so the coding section first of all you need to include the library for the ir remote so these are the two libraries that you need to include first the receiving pin as i said i use the digital pin 6 so here will be the 6 digital pin i'll call this function i'll create an uh, I'll, I'll pass a parameter as ir receiving pin that is pin number 6 
I'm using a decode result as result for storing a hex value. String as a temporary variable in setup. I'm printing whatever the key is pressed to a serial communication. So I'm using serial dot begin nine six double zero. Then after I'm enabling the receiving pin, two, three, four, and five are the digital pin that will be used for switching on and off. Uh, relay module sending a high signal so it will be in an output mode in loop I am continuously having a decoding result so this function what does it do it receives a signal whatever the value is there will store to a string one it will be in the hex format so I have converted typecasted to string and storing it to string one whatever the data I have found I am printing it to a serially so I can get an idea which key was pressed I am taking 500 millisecond of delay then after I have checked pressed each and every key and I had an X code so X code for one in my case for remote is this so what I'll do I'll press I'll uh, digital high the second number pin similarly if it's peak key 2 so it will digital high 3 similarly for key 3 it is digital high 4 now in my scenario I'm using only three switches so three switch I have made digital high okay for pressing on pressing key 4 I am turning off a switch 1 on pressing 5 I am turning off a switch 3 similarly I am turning off switch 4 so to switch off you just need to have a low digital signal low to a relay module else I am not doing anything else then after I am resuming the loop again and again iteratively after every 500 millisecond the loop will be continuously be executing that's it. for this demonstration as you can see that I had a relay module. I have connected the pins as I told you from 2 to 4 and a relay, mo relay module as you can see that I am having a remote control through which I will be operating it. I have a 3 switches over front and I have supplied an AC power supply. I am using 12 volt from the SMPS. I didn't have a charger of 12 volt so I am using a power from the SMPS. So let's start the demonstration. So in my scenario if I press 1, so the relay module 1 gets activated and as you can see that I have connected one plug to my shouldering machine it gets on. Similarly if I press 4, so if I press 4, so what happens that it gets turn off and my relay also get turn off. We will test all the 3 switches. So for 1 that gets, so we will start with 1, 1 makes activation to this relay 1, 2 activates 2, 3, activates 3. To turn off, I'll press 4. So it turn off 4, 5, 6. That's it. Thank you and please keep subscribing. If you have any query, you can post your comment. And if you think that's an interesting project, please click on the like button. Thank you.